What do you guys suppose an angle bisector is? Cuts an angle in. Cuts an angle in half. So if I draw an angle here, and let's say I say the measure of this entire angle is 60 degrees, what is an angle bisector going to do? Cut it in half. It's going to be a ray or segment that cuts this in half. So it would make this one what? 30 degrees and this one what? Now, as you would imagine, I could go like this right here, get my eraser out, and I now have an angle bisector inside of a triangle. It's like magic. How many angle bisectors are there going to be in a triangle? Huh? There will be three. Why? Because there's three angles. Mm, does that look like about half? It's pretty good right there. We'll go with that. So, to mark that that's... I'm going to mark that these are all congruent. Now, the funny thing, guess what all the angle bisectors do? They meet at one concurrent point. Look at that. I must have got pretty close, huh? So this one's congruent to this one, this one's congruent to this one. This, so if this one was 70 degrees, that'd be what? 35 and what? 35. And then this would be 70 and 60 is what, 130? So that would make this whole one 50 degrees, making this one 25 and this one 25. Easy peasy, huh? Isn't that fun? So we've talked about, and you don't have to write this down because I made you write that down. We've talked about what? Altitudes, medians, what else? Perpendicular bisectors, and now what? Now we've talked about all of them what? In what? triangles. And each time they all meet at a point. It happens with all of them. Do you have any extras? Uh -huh. oh, thanks, thanks. Thanks, so let's get that worksheet out and let's work some problems. This really shouldn't be that bad, should it? Okay, first of all, the measure of angle 2 is 36. Well, what do they tell us about this? DH bisects EDF, so DH, so that means this is congruent to that, right? Okay, it also says that FG bisects EFD, so that means this one is congruent to what? So now I don't need to read this again because I've marked it here, right? Okay, E, F, D. E to F to D. They're saying that whole thing is what? 68 degrees? Or no, I'm, look, I'm, looking, at, uh, I'm looking at number two, aren't I? I've got a little ahead of myself there. Number one says the measure of angle two is 36. Well, E to D to F. Excuse me, I apologize. I shouldn't be yawning. Well, how am I going to find this whole angle right here? Right. If this one's 36, what's this one? So what's the whole thing? Uh, 36 plus 36, which is equal to what? 
not so terrible, is it? Now, you remember on problems like this, just because they made this one, the whole thing 72, they may ask another problem and change the values. So, right, right light, so you can erase it. Now, here's the one where they said what? EFD, that's this angle right here, was what? 68 degrees? And they want another measure of angle 4. I would divide by 2, wouldn't I? Which would give me what? 34? Any questions on that? I'm on a roll, huh? Not too bad. Measure of angle, what is angle EDF if the measure of angle 1 is 27? That's exactly the same as the first one, isn't it? That's 27, that's what? The only difference is they instead of it being 36 this time, they're saying each one's what? Making the whole thing what? You guys like these assignments, don't you? Measure of angle 4 is 23. Then they ask, what's the measure of angle 3? Tried to trick you by making it a little different that time, didn't they? We ought to be okay with that. Well, maybe they'll make them a little harder down here. Let's see what we got going on. Everybody okay up here? Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we got going on down here. Triangle LMN is what we have here. LP bisects NLM. So, okay, it cuts this one in what? Half. And then they say that this one gets cut in half, and then they say that this one gets cut in half, correct? Okay. Find the measure of angle 6. That's this one right here, correct? If MNL, MNL, the whole thing is what? 115. So how am I going to find this one? 115, and I'm going to divide by 2, which would be 67.5, not 67, 57.5 degrees. Is that correct? So far, the big difference here is it's just uh, they added a third angle bisector, didn't they? So it just makes it a little more jumbled up and maybe a little more, a little harder to kind of see, but it's the same concept. Angle four, they say, I am tired of this yawning. They say angle four is 18. But in my defense, I do have a newborn at the house. <laughs> Angle 4 is 18 degrees. Well, then what's angle 3? 18 degrees. Am I going too fast? Are we okay? I heard one okay. Does that mean the other 31 of you are not okay? Or are you just not paying attention to me? Or both? I'm the only one who has a decent excuse for that, but I'm ready to go. Angle 1 is 48, or no, they want to know what angle 1 is. However, they say this whole angle right here is 48 degrees. So what's angle 1? 48 divided by 2, which is what? Both of these are 24. LNM, we're going to find that if angle 5 is 63 degrees. That makes this 63 degrees, making the whole thing what? 26 degrees. Any questions? Oh, goodness, look what they did to us here. I like this problem. Finally, something to challenge us. First of all, they said that BD is an angle bisector. What does that mean? Cuts that in half. In other words, that's congruent to that. Then they say this whole angle here, 
this whole angle here is what they're talking about that's what? 4x minus 6. You guys agree? Do the two smaller parts added together equal the whole thing? It looks like algebra. I probably need to create a what? Equation. So I need to find some things that are equal. So that's why I said, well, I know that whatever this is is equal to whatever this is. But does that help me? All I could say is that this is x plus 6 too, right? Would you guys agree with that? I could put x plus 6 equals x plus 6, but what happens? I just get 0 equal to 0. Doesn't help me find x at all, does it? Okay. So is there another way I can relate the measures of these? Well, uh, don't, don't skip steps on me. Nah, don't skip steps on me. Tell me, what plus what is what? You, you, I think what he's saying, is he saying that this angle plus this angle has to equal the whole angle? Well, this angle is x plus 6 plus, what's this angle? Well, it's also what? x plus 6 is equal to, what's the whole angle? Now, now we can combine like terms. See, I've created a valid equation with only one unknown. I can solve for x. Now I can combine like terms, and now I get what? You guys are wanting to say 2x plus 12 for forever now. Okay. Can we solve this equation? Everybody okay with that? So I get 12 is equal to what? Then what am I going to do? I'm going to add 6 first. I get 2x is equal to 20, or I'm going to add 6, so 18. Any questions there? Is this what they ask for? This is another thing. Another thing I'd like this problem. We found what x was. What did the question ask for? They asked for what is the measure of angle ABC. You've got to plug in 9 in for x. ABC is, angle ABC is 4 times whatever x is minus 6. What is x? So 4 times 9 is what? 36 minus 6? 30 degrees. That is your answer.